Hello class! In this week's lab, you will be comparing gelled products made with pectin. Pectin gels can be formed by using commercial pectin, sold as a powder or liquid, or the pectin naturally present in the fruits and vegetables. Making products with commercial pectin is pretty easy. The easy to follow instructions are inside the box of pectin. This week, you will make apple jelly using the pectin that is first extracted from the apples. Only two lab units will make the control. The others will have an alteration to their recipe. One of the ingredients will be swapped out, so for example, honey may be substituted for regular sugar, or the ratio of a listed ingredient will be altered, so maybe the amount of acid used will be increased or decreased, or the endpoint temperature may be raised or lowered. This way you can see the effect that the ingredients have on the final product. Some ingredients affect flavor, others affect color, while others affect the degree of gel formation and some will contribute to the multiple product characteristics. Commercially, we can buy many different types of pectin gelled products. There are jellies, as will be made in lab, jams, conserves, fruit butters, and marmalade. All of these products typically have sugar added to them and some amount of acid depending on the natural acidity of the fruit. Jellies are clear juice, so they don't have any bits of fruit or vegetable present. And I say vegetable because we often think of jellies and jams as fruit preserves, but they can be made with fruits or vegetables, or fruits that we often think of as vegetables, like jalapeno peppers. Jams are made from juice and whole fruit that is cut into pieces or crushed. Conserves are made from the juice with whole pieces of fruit. So if you were making strawberry conserves, you would want to select the smaller strawberries, not the big giant ones. Save those big ones for dipping in chocolate. Fruit butters are basically whole fruit, like apples, or a stone fruit, such as a plum, peach, or apricot, that are cooked until they get really soft. Apples will often completely disintegrate, but the stone fruits will need to be pureed. Then the fruit is returned to the pan and sugar is added, and often spices, like cinnamon cloves, which are commonly added to apple butter. Either way, the fruit and sugar are cooked until no liquid separates when a small spoonful is put on a plate. And marmalades are the same as jams, made from juice and whole fruit that is cut into pieces or crushed, but they also have citrus fruit peel added. So orange marmalade has bits of orange pulp and pieces of orange peel. When you are evaluating the pectin gelled products, note the intensity of the fruit flavor, the overall sweetness, the texture of the gel, and the firmness of the gel. Created using Powtoon.